good morning students welcome to the history classes i am mr ramesh narayan and today we will deal with the first chapter of history that is the first war of independence now students let me make it very clear this class is specially meant for the icse board students those who are preparing for the icse board 10th standard it is specially meant for those children so get ready for the first class we will be dividing the first chapter into four to five classes so to begin with the class we deal with the topic the first war of independence that is 1857 now there are many beliefs and ideas or theories regarding the nature of this topic nature of this war as you can see there is nature what exactly can it be called some historians believe that it was the first war of indian independence some other believe it was indian national movement whereas still some historians have the belief that it was a sepoy mutiny and of course as a revolt of 1857 or a mass uprising well in our classes we will be strictly limiting ourselves to the icsc syllabus of history so in brief i will discuss what exactly it was the topic says the first war of independence but let's see whether it was really a war of independence whether it was jhansi satara nagpur awad kanpur all these areas of the uprising of the marathas they were just limited to the limited aim of getting their desire fulfilled like for example you understand about jhansi ranbir jhansi wanted that the adopted son should be given the due respect by the british people she was not having any such idea that we should be independent similarly it was the big of abad satara nagpur or nana saheb the adopted son of peshwa bajirao too all these people they were restricted to a particular aim that is to gain their own desire nana saheb wanted that the facilities given to the marathas should be given to him also it was denied by the british so we can see that it was not exactly a war of independence this is what the historians believe let's not go into for the discussion about it but this is what the historians believe one of their views is that it was a war of independence some of the historians said it was indian national movement now before we discuss this topic indian national movement let's understand what it means by national and movement national means of one nation and movement must be having a particular aim mass support and a leader a prominent leader in any movement a prominent leader is required so an aim mass support and leadership i will write here a mass support and leader 
these are the basic requirements to make anything as a movement. Now, once again, in this case of what we are going to be talking about, the aim varied from states to states. Some people wanted that the pensions, the titles, the rights to adopted sons should be given. There was not one particular aim. Mass support. This uprising of 1857 did not have a mass support from southern part of India or the western part of India. Yes, some states were there, but which you call it as a mass support, that is not seen in history. Similarly, a leadership, a district leadership will be there for a movement. But we find that there are different leaders, there are different people. They are not unanimous in their aim or leadership. And this became one major factor for the failure of this 1857 uprising, revolt, or first war of independence. Because there was not a unified leader with a unified or particular aim. So we may not call this as a national movement as well. Then let's come to the point, Sipoy Mutiny. Right? It was the beginning by the Sipoyers in Meerut who were against the British policies of using those rifles, the Enfield rifles. And so they voted under the leadership of Mongol Party. So, to some extent, we can say that is what the Sepoy mutiny, the soldiers or the Sepoys, they revolted against the British policies. Eventually, we come to the last point uprising or revolt of Italy. The word revolt means mass support. Mass uprising. You are also uprising to be mass uprising. But as I have said earlier, southern part, the western part of India, people were not there. So what can we conclude about the nature then? What exactly was it? Well, to be on the safer side, historians believe to say that. It started as a Sepoy mutiny from Meerut in 1857 and ended as a revolt of 1857. Because about thousands of civilians lost their life in this uprising. So it started as a Sepoy mutiny. Soldiers reacted, they revolted, mutinied. But it ended as a revolt because masses, the people also joined in it due to various reasons and fact. 